Hi, my name is Thomas Grove. Uh, I'm originally from America, but I call Vietnam my home. My work, uh, I'm a designer, and I, <laughs> I'm a designer. Normally, I'm sitting behind a computer, but today, I'm going to be getting my hands dirty, I think, and doing some kind of work here at the Binden Wholesale Market in District 8. I have no idea what's in store for me, but I've got some uh, gloves and some boots. I don't think they're going to help keep me too clean, though. Tomat is standing in the center of the market where he's selling seafood. Let's follow him. Uh, so as you can see behind me, it's really chaotic here. And I'm kind of in the way, so I'm going to go get assigned my first job. I, let's, let's go over here. Hello. Uh, xin chào. Tôi tên là Thomas. And I want some convien. I want a, some job. Can you help me? Teach me or give me something to do. <laughs> Thomas began to work at the porter in Bingdian Market. The boss assigned him to sell a fish and load the fish bucket into the cart. This job is main income source of most labor workers in here. The worker requires much effort. Does this hurt your back? Does your back feel okay? Does it hurt? <laughs> okay. Thomas had to work a bit, but it hurt his spike very much. He really admires Miss Hua, a female porter. Female products are really special in Bingdian Market. When you come here, you easily see a scene of female products who are working very hard. Most importantly, all of them are very friendly and warm. It's, it's not easy. <laughs> okay. Just. We're pulling the fish that we stack. I think we're going to load our fish onto a truck. Definitely, you work up a sweat, you're surrounded by ice. Got it. We're going to go get more. <laughs> what seems to be going on here. So, this is one of the, the probably the biggest distribution center for uh, food in the greater Ho Chi Minh City area. And food from all the surrounding provinces is coming to this main wholesale center and getting organized and then it's being loaded onto smaller trucks uh, and then sent into the different smaller markets within the city limits. Our work's not done. We have to load up our cart again and bring more fish. Thomas looks pretty tired right now. This place is so huge. This warehouse alone is 20,000 square meters. You could easily get lost if you didn't have somebody who's been here before and knows where they're going. And it all looks the same to me. Just rows and rows of iced fish. Put this one on here? Okay. Quay lại, quay lại, quay đầu lại. Quay lại, quay lại là vậy nè. 
Rồi đó. Ok, that's it. Ở đâu mình kéo đi xuống cái này mình giao luôn bạn hàng luôn. This way. Đường nào, đường này nó dễ hơn. This next load we're taking out a completely different side of the warehouse so uh, probably going to a different market altogether in the last load. With the area of over 65,000 hectares with the nine indoor markets, there are over 1,000 traders in business. Bindian market is famous for a large and most crowded market in the night. There are a lot of transaction, business, driving truck, loading goods through the night. You may get a lot if you walk in the market alone. Thomas ships good at the truck station. His work seemed to be inconvenient and harder than he thought. Oh, you want? Okay. okay. <laughs> it's hard. To, it's hard to come up with something witty to say about this situation. Okay. Thank you. But I think I have a long time to go before I'm not getting into people's way. You know, I think I, it's not very easy. It's hard work. Yeah. Are you sleeping during the daytime? Thầy má vậy thì cũng được đi giỏi mà cũng như là cái việc đây nó hơi nặng nề mà bản tánh cũng vui vẻ ở đây cũng thích như bạn vậy đó à, thì nếu mà lần sau quay trở lại thì vô làm việc thì rất là vui vẻ à, con cũng làm việc tốt vậy đó chị em cũng là vui vẻ với với bạn vậy thôi hey, thank you so much for letting me intrude on your work here and get some experience doing what you do it's not easy uh, Thank you very much. It's great to meet you. And I uh, guess we are on to the next step. Time for me to try some other job. But yeah, thank you. Well, with moving boxes of iced fish out of the way, we're on to our next uh, task. Let's find out what it is. Inspired of the night markets, it looked like the day markets were even crowded with lots of goods. All people have to really focus on their work. Squid or octopus? Cô ta bỏ cho mình thì nó đâu có mềm kèo, nó đâu có được chăng đâu. Mình phải quậy lại, nó không được cái chăng, nó bông lên mới đẹp, nó bán được. He says that it's for making it harder, maybe taking some of the salt off. But I also think there's an element of making it way more, like it's absorbing the water and so you can sell it for more because it weighs more at the market. Most kinds of seafood are brought to this plate. The charter take all the fresh food from the seaport and then deliver to city and some neighboring province. What about that one who's running away? Uh, crab. I don't know if they're planning to eat this one or he just snuck in with everybody else. Thomas go to craft store. The commodity is really fresh and eye-catching. There is no idea about what he learns in the area. Let's see what happened to him. It's an interesting sensation to shovel crabs into a, what would this be, like a dustbin, almost like you're playing, it almost feels like you're, you're playing with a, a sand, sort of, like shoveling sand at the beach. But instead of little grains of rock, it's made up of crabs. 
more? Good. Great. So it's time to say goodbye to the fish area of this complex and we're going to go to a completely different part that has vegetables. Besides the business of trading fresh seafood, trading of vegetables is also with rust here. A lot of vegetables here. Tomat is currently misread towards to center B, the center of vegetable. We don't know how he would work here. I'm here to help with your vegetable store. What kinds of things should I do? What? Okay, take a bag. Great. All right. So like. Put them in like this, okay? How many? That's more kilo. I need nine kilo or high kilo. Down, down you, down you moon, high kilo. Okay. To scale Reddit is the work that Thomas has to do in this state. It's simple and not tired as he works in the seafood area. Okay, I just finished up one. Uh, my job at this station is to take these uh, radishes from these large bags and put them into these smaller bags to the weight of 2 kilograms per bag. Three bags done and only like 100 more to go. Can I talk to you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Look, look how amazingly big these carrots are. This is, I've never seen a carrot this big. Uh, seems the first step is we take these, I want to say dirty carrots, but take these little roots coming out of them. So you dip them in the water and kind of rub them until you can pull all those off so it comes kind of smooth and then we throw them in this basket. It is very easy to wash the carrots. However, it would be the challenge if you have to wash the carrots all night long. For this challenge, Thomas have to work in hours. Hope my wash carrot as much as he can. Well, I'd have to say that cleaning carrots is a lot better than carrying fish. How long do you clean carrots for in one night? So she says it takes her all night to, to clean all these carrots. Do you know how, how many carrots, uh, like how many kilos or how many pieces of carrots you you guys a lot <laughs> too many right I'd like to I don't know why if it was those carrots they're washing them to remove the the roots and then with these ones we are using a a peeler just to do the same thing. Maybe someone will uh, Help me find out. In the next step, Thomas removed roof of the carrots. He very focused. He's a taskmaster. I'm start with, yeah. with him looking over my okay. shoulder. Okay. I'm okay. starting to think that the fish work was easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I think this is actually hard. I think this is actually harder than the than the fish because I'm having to kind of sit in this squatting position, kind of at my workstation here for so long. The fish was really heavy, but at least you could move around. So the same thing or a different thing? They, I'm so clumsy with these carrots. They must be looking at me like I'm such an amateur. là lấy xe đẩy qua bên giữa chắc cả đỏ đẩy xuống xe dao ra ok ok thường ôm ra ngã xuống Curing carrots to deliver is a nice job that Thomas have to do work he really proficient in his job đẩy cái công dao cái số xe này luôn 57 anh là Sao right. 957 coi chừng lộn xe cái mất tiền luôn đó nha. Ờ. Ừ. Ok. Rồi 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 rồi. Ok so I loaded up 7 boxes of clean carrots onto this trolley and uh, the boss has given me a truck number. Uh, I have to somehow just like with the fish we are going to deliver this to the truck but I think I have to find it by myself. So He just have truck number. How does he do? Hope that he may find it soon. I can't really see where I'm walking because your light's right in my eyes. But uh, no idea how I'm going to find this truck. Thomas looks so nervous because it takes a long time to find the truck. However, it's very difficult because he doesn't know Vietnamese much. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I take too long. I'm worried the boss will get upset. He starts to run faster and faster. I'm not sure if this is a license plate number or maybe it's a big number on the side of the truck. But this is supposed to be the area where our truck is. But uh, the rest of the numbers are different. So let's look a bit this way. Hi, I, I have your um, carrot for you. Finally, Thomas found the truck and delivered goods to a driver. He's missing done. Okay. And I finished delivering the carrots. Uh, thanks. That was a really interesting experience. Thanks for letting me uh, help out with your shop for the night. Let me. Can I? Oh yeah. It's Chin Hoi An. Before I go, I have two questions I was very curious about. Uh, the first one is the vegetables. Once they leave your market, where do they go? Lượng rau củ quả này là bỏ khắp thành phố này. Những chợ nhỏ về người ta bán lẻ lại là khoảng 7 phần trăm. Rồi còn lại mấy chục phần trăm là bán cho những tỉnh lân cận của đồng bằng sông Cửu Long mình. Mấy tỉnh miền Tây. And then these the bags that you're holding the vegetables in. Where do you get those? Bọc này là đi hết giải đê bốn này quẹo trái vô hai căn có tiệm tập quá chiên môn bán về tỷ và lẻ bọc này chắc rồi we can't probably chase down all these vegetables but we can see where these bags come from so why don't we see if we can find that place Looks like we found the location where we can get back. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go over there and uh, try to learn about what's up with these bags. See if I can find some bags appropriate for carrots. Pick out the like what kind of work you do here, and maybe show me how I can do this. Should I come? Maybe I'll come around. Is it okay? Can I come inside? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Customers normally want mokai or they want 
Namui Kai. How many, how many, when someone orders one, how many do they want? Okay. Uh, okay. I, I just I just got finished uh, packaging carrots. Carrot? Oh, we have another customer. Puma tried to learn how to sell goods along with sisters. He is very happy when doing the job due to friendly of Vietnamese people. That is the reason why Thomas Go Vietnam is his home. Okay, I, they're leaving me here alone to man their shop. I think that's a mistake. But um, I kind of know the prices for the most part. If someone comes, I'll try to give them the right, the right products. Uh, each of these rolls is already weighed supposed to be weighed to be like one kilo I think but uh, that's not a kilo so so now I'm not sure what's gonna happen these are not these are half they have kilo we got bags for sale ah customer uh, K moon okay this is I can give you a nice bag to hold your bag. The first customer of Thomas is easy to please. He just by packings. Thomas has no difficulty at this time. Guess I need to record this into the uh, register here. Uh, so, how much is Five hundred. Sao, 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 yeah. So that's six. And this is 32 divided by two is 16. Well, 22, you gave me 50. The next customer tried to make a little bit crazy. Okay. Tuma tried to manage his situation. It's like a challenge to him. Let's see. I need to find one of these energy drinks. 10,000 10, and one. A bag? No. We got bags here. <laughs> well, that was my first time to be a Vietnamese shopkeep. Uh, it was kind of stressful trying to fulfill all the orders in time, but we did we did uh, make some sales, so I'm happy about that. And I think I'm ready to give this shop back to their owners. He is waiting for customers. It's early morning already. I'm so happy to have you back. Uh, that was pretty stressful, but I did make a couple sales. We have uh, one of these at $20,000. Uh, we also sold a drink plus one of these. That's there. And also we sold two uh, soft drinks. Coca and most energy drink. So uh, all the money is in the drawer. Yeah, and I'm so happy to be able to give the shop back to you. It's it's a little too high pressure for me to fulfill all these orders. But um, thanks for letting me. Thanks for teaching me about this and for letting me give it a try. It was really fun. So thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> you
Well, I think that about wraps it up. It's about 3, 3 a.m. here at the market. Uh, everyone else here is going to keep going until 7 or, or, or later with their cleanup. But uh, that's as much as, as we can do tonight. So it's been a really interesting experience. Uh, not easy, uh, but really fun for, to experience something different. Well, it's been a hard day's night. I think I've worked up an appetite. We're going to go check out the food court, or the canteen, and see what kind of things we can order there. Let's go this way. But this place is a city unto itself. Walking to the restaurant area, we passed a couple gas stations, and this restaurant area has almost 90 restaurants. Maybe even 100. Uh, so it's a perfect way to end the night. Hard day's work, or hard night's work. Replenish your energy with some food. A chef is preparing food for, for Thomas. Maybe it is the earliest breakfast that Thomas has ever had in his life. Well, that's it for this week's segment. I hope that you've discovered something new and uh, had some fun along the way like I did. And we'll see you next time on Living Vietnam in a Day. Thank you. Time to eat. Thomas enjoyed his earlier breakfast after finishing all the experience. This would be an unforget memory of Thomas. The experience is very new, very true that he never knew before.